Well, I am a big believer that children need to know their math facts. I often get criticized for that in the math community. But if you stop to hear beyond that initial message, I'm not asking children to memorize information they don't understand. There's three steps on the road to fluency with basic facts. Step number one is you've got to teach for understanding. That means as a teacher, the teacher knows there are two models for each operation. There's two models for addition, there's two models for subtraction, there's two models for multiplication, and two models for division. So most important is to teach for understanding. Biggest shock I ever got teaching fifth grade, innocently said to one of my fifth graders, Dennis, seven times eight. He salivated all over me. 56, Miss Sutton, 56. Here's the thing. If I'd stopped there, I would have thought, oh good, he knows his facts. But the bottom line was, I asked him to draw a picture of that equation. He looked at me with shock and horror. And here's what he said. Miss Sutton, they just told me in third grade to say 56. He'd memorized that. Mathematically, that will slap you in the face in grade six, grade seven, and grade eight. So step number one is you've got to teach for understanding. The second step on the road to fluency with basic facts is you've got to teach the computational strategies. There is a list of those strategies on my website and we'll talk more about that piece. The third step is five to nine minutes every single day of practice. The difference with my philosophy is you practice the strategies. So if you're, if you're working on doubling a number, you practice doubling for 10 to 15 days, five to nine minutes. So the idea is there are children who can put that into rote memory and can retain it and spit it out, but there is an, an element of our population that won't put it necessarily to rote memory, but they will have the ability to figure out what that fact is because they truly understand it. They can create a picture, they can use another strategy to build on it, but those are really the three steps on the road to fluency with basic facts. You never want a child just rote memory, memorization of those facts if they don't have the understanding.